Android 11 is now official and I've got the OTA update straight to my Pixel 4a. And I wanted to share with you some of the key features I noticed when using it. Hi, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future content that's posted on the channel. While there are most just cosmetic changes in Android 11, I'll be focusing on the end user facing updates, but this does include some very easily accessible developer options too. There are plenty of improvements that will undoubtedly improve your overall experience, but can be much harder to pinpoint or define just how much they benefit your day-to-day -day experience. Here's what's new and everything that's in Android 11. The previous Pixel feature drops or cards passes come to Google Pixel hardware and Android 11 enhances the pop-up menu when pressing and holding the power button on your lock screen or anywhere else for that matter. Alongside your credit and rewards, quick access to all your smart home tech connected to Google Assistant is now visible from the enhanced power menu as well. Universal media controls now live in your notification toggle. The lock screen media player now has a very minor design updates as well. It also removes the popular album out when the media is playing. The volume of the sound pop-up is now more compact in added icons and obviously with extra flair as well. Android 11 lets you mark messaging applications as conversations within the notification shade for a quicker access subgroup that gives you more prominent access. A settings menu subsection now lets you manage and view your entire device notification history, including a detailed application based history of what and who you've received notifications for and also from. When using a Google camera application, file size limits are now removed in high resolution recording format, including 1080p and 4K. Applications are now able to use floating UI bubbles in a very similar way to Facebook Messenger. Some applications that utilize the bubble notifications are Google Messages. Thanks to just the sensitivity adjustment, you can now independently adjust the sensitivity of both sides of your display individually, sides where it comes to when you're using the navigation method. Select text or quickly take a screenshot from the app switch view without needing to open the application thanks to recent panel screenshot and select buttons. Wireless debugging can be enabled within the developer options, allowing you to connect without plugging into your PC or laptop directly. Within the developer options, you can now enable an upper left refresh icon that can be toggled to show frame rate dips across the entire OS, which I think is a nice touch. Now the long awaited built-in screen recorder is finally there and in the drop down notification shade, you can toggle it on and off. When connected to Bluetooth devices, such as headphones and speakers, toggling airplay mode will no longer disconnect these devices instantly. Within the developer options, you can now check just what Bluetooth codecs your earbuds or headphones support when connected. When taking a screenshot, you'll get a smaller pop-up UI with preview and a shortcut to quickly share or edit an image rather than having to head to your notification shade. Unfortunately, there's no scrolling screenshot option live in Android 11 just yet. Now, when dock predictions are enabled within the Pixel Launcher settings, your device will predict applications and then place them in your dock based upon recent app usage. Android 11 introduces the ability to grant applications access to hardware or data on just a one-time occasion for greater privacy controls. When you accept app permissions and haven't used an application for a while, they'll reset until you relaunch the application. When viewing video videos in picture in picture, you can grab and resize any of these floating videos on your home screen by tapping and holding and dragging the upper left corner or the bottom right corner, whichever corner of the video player. When lockdown mode is enabled within the power menu, this will now appear as a floating menu for you to restart or power off your device. Media controls can now be swiped away within the notification toggle section. This will hide play media until you interact or fully expand the notification shade again. As part of the redesign, the sound popper panel, you can now control the device or indeed the system volume there as well. To better improve Wi-Fi connection, auto connect option is now available within the Wi-Fi settings alongside a direct disconnect toggle if you do want to leave the Wi-Fi network. Emergency alerts, they're now available in Spanish and not just English on the top right where wireless emergency alerts can be added to exceptions within that do not disturb settings as well. The selection button for when media is playing has been streamlined to help you quickly choose where audio plays and the volume levels of each of those devices. Previously playing media can be resumed from the quick settings panel 
or disabled entirely within the settings application. Autofill passwords and account details are now possible in Android 11 directly from your keyboard as well. Now currently only works with Gboard and developers are able to implement this feature in the future. Now Android 11 also lets you connect wirelessly to compatible cards with Android Auto. No cables means no potential issues. As part of the bedtime mode, you can now choose to disable the always on display on the Pixel device at nighttime. Now, when using a compatible Pixel device with wireless charging, you will get a very brief pop-up on your lock screen if your device isn't quite aligned correctly on said charger with compatible Pixel devices. Also, the spacing in the notification shade has been increased with much more space and prominence between sections and notification groups. Also, you have 117 brand new emojis plus some redesigned originals and return to classic for some of the classic designed ones. Now, if you do have a Pixel device that does have a high refresh rate, the Force 90 Hertz option which was available as part of the Pixel 4 is now called Smooth Display and it's a direct toggle rather than a sub menu option. Now Plane has now gained a new musical note icon which replaces the worded toggle from Android 10, allowing you to quickly view all of your recently listened to music. Icons and menu options within the settings menu now have a slightly larger look and an added color given more you know, greater look and prominence. So yeah, those are some and most of the user facing features of Android 11 that you will see on your Pixel devices. You should be seeing them come and roll out to certain OnePlus, Xiaomi, Realme, and also Oppo devices as well. So you kind of pretty much have to check that. But if you're on a Pixel device, you should pretty much be getting the OTA update straight to your phone pretty much straight away, which is great to see. And again, one of the biggest benefits that I'm obviously finding out is how quickly you get these updates to these Pixel devices from day one. Again, my name is Ben from Love of tech if you enjoy videos like this you know exactly what to do hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you're part of team tls the tech lover squad so you don't miss any future videos that is posted on the lover of tech channel let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite feature on android 11 if you've got an update what device you're using hope you guys are safe during this time i will catch you in the next one peace